In this episode, we're going to explore the possibilities that a megalodon shark could still exist today in our ocean. This video examines the evidence, scientific theories, and the enduring fascination with this prehistoric giant monster-sized megalodon shark. The Rise of a Legend, the Megalodon Shark. The Megalodon shark is widely considered to be the most dominant and largest predator shark species that ever existed on Earth. With teeth bigger than a dinner plate and a bite force up to 40,000 pounds per square inch, believed to be the most powerful bite any animal ever had ever on Earth. And believe it or not, new evidence shows that they grow much bigger than previously thought by scientists. New studies as recent as 2025 completely rewritten the history books and placed this monster submarine shark at over 80 feet long now and 94 tons. This study by 28 experts led by Dr. Kenshu Shimada from DePaul University in Chicago sheds new light on the megalodon shark's size and whether or not this shark could still exist today. The ocean is still mostly unexplored. We haven't mapped much of it and even less has actually been seen by human eyes. Only about 25% of the entire ocean has been explored. Most of the exploration was done by multi-beam sonar technology, which leaves even explored areas still filled with the unknown. Fossil evidence for the Megadon shark is rare due to the shark's bones being mostly made of cartilage, just like a lot of other sharks. Only a few parts of the Megalodon shark can be fossilized, including the teeth. Samples of the Megalodon shark teeth have been found in great numbers and conclusively support the existence of this massive giant shark. We unboxed an amazing Megadon shark tooth on our channel a while ago, and that was found in the Hawthorne Formation in Beaufort County, South Carolina. The particular fossil right here is in very good condition. Even after millions of years, you can see the serrated edges of the teeth. And I could just imagine what kind of animal had this tooth. Dr. Shimada's recent study with this group of experts supports the idea that competition for food could be the leading cause of the decline of this giant shark species. However, most of the ocean is still unexplored. Hypotheses remain limited due to the lack of overall understanding of the ocean itself. Evidence of things like extinction level events, like asteroid impacts, also gives credibility to the theory that the food supply of the megalodon shark compromises its species survivability. The Megalodon Enigma. Could it really still be out there? One interesting fact that always makes me wonder if the Meg could still be out there is that many giant species, including the giant Great White Shark, existed in the oceans alongside the Megalodons at one time. The Great Whites can still be found in the oceans today in great numbers. So could this indicate a chance that a Megalodon Shark could still exist at least in small numbers? The vastness of the ocean cannot be underestimated. With only about 25% of the oceans being explored in a very limited way, hard to conclusively say that the shark does not exist. Some ancient species thought once extinct have been rediscovered alive in our oceans today. Rediscovered living species once thought to be extinct are often referred to as Lazarus species. This has happened numerous times with species such as the Coelacan. Even new large species have been discovered recently as well, such as a brand new species of sleeper shark. In 2020, a group of researchers from the National Taiwan Ocean University were able to document this entirely new shark species in the waters near Taiwan. We've only seen the tip of the iceberg in terms of what's really out in the ocean. Some believe that a giant shark couldn't hide, but with an ocean this large, even massive species such as giant squid, once thought to be a legend, have now been filmed numerous times. People have even swam in the ocean with them. Another giant species of squid called the big fin squid were only first identified in their adult form as recent as 2001. These massive squid can grow over 20 feet long and somehow were never seen until recently. And although the megalodon shark remains unseen alive, the size of it could easily be hidden in the depths of our extensive oceans, as we've seen with these other giant Lazarus species. Not only is the ocean extremely large, but it's extremely deep. In the deepest trenches of the ocean, the pressure is so high, very few expeditions have successfully traveled there. There have been more expeditions into outer space than into the depths of these abyss-like trenches. If a megalodon shark exists, it may exist in one of these areas that remains extremely difficult to explore. The Modern Day Megalodon Sightings Oh wow! It's like Jaws! I am too, I've got it on video. Many modern day sightings of the alleged Megalodon shark can be dismissed as misidentified sharks. However, some events are hard to explain. Often these sightings are known species of giant shark though. The basking shark is one of the largest filter feeding sharks in the ocean. Their appearance is intimidating, and some reports claim that these sharks can grow 40 feet long. The dark appearance of these sharks may lead to reports of these giant black sharks, such as the legend of the submarine shark and black demon shark, featured on popular channels such as Discovery Channel Shark Week. 
The basking shark is the second largest shark ever discovered alive and second only to this next shark, the whale shark. These whale sharks are widely seen and can often be a tourist attraction for diving. These are considered to be the largest sharks in existence, going to an unmatched size and length among sharks. The largest reliable measured whale shark ever discovered was over 60 feet long and could have weighed over 60 tons. The main theory explaining the extinction of the megalodon shark states that the lack of food is the main cause. Most research into the existence of a megalodon shark in modern day leads to this conclusion that the species is likely extinct. But those who scrutinize these findings seem to have a pretty valid argument. Given the sheer size of the ocean that has not been explored, as well as the existence of other megafauna in the ocean who seem to be able to find food just fine. The existence of myths of giant sharks and even recent events of sightings keep the legend of the megalodon shark alive. New mainstream feature films such as the Meg show cultural interest into the subject is still very strong. The science versus the speculation. Scientific consensus could lead some to believe that the megalodon shark that once definitely existed in our oceans has met its extinction due to a combination of extinction level type events and subsequent declining food supply. Even the most recent research such as that led by Dr. Kenshu Shimada helps support that theory. It is worth noting that this speculation is still a huge part even in these studies due to the limited information that we have on our oceans. Something we do know, the conditions on Earth and the oceans during the times of the Megadon shark is much different than it is now, and this could affect their ability to survive. However, many species have been shown to adapt to changes around them with great success, again leading to the idea that perhaps one of these giant submarine-sized Megalodon sharks could still be alive in the oceans in modern day. The search for the living Megalodon shark or conclusive evidence that the shark does not exist is still ongoing. Cultural interest and educational significance of the Megalodon shark remains strong, and new movies like The Meg show just how much people are interested. Humans have always been fascinated with the unknown. Throughout history, we frequently challenged the legends and myths of old and scrutinized the evidence of that time, and this often led to new discoveries. The power of the imagination has always been at the forefront of exploration and discovery. The frontier of what is known and unknown has always been seemingly the destiny for our species, as we dig deeper and go farther than we ever have before. The deep ocean is a haven for these brave explorers of our time. The question remains, could future discoveries finally reveal to us a living megalodon shark? Let me know in the comments if you think one day we'll find a living Megalodon shark. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. You can subscribe to my channel for free by clicking the subscribe button. Don't forget, click that bell icon and you can be one of the first people to see my newest videos.